Hi students, uh, welcome back with another video session in research. We will discuss about research assumptions here. So one must assume something to learn something. So it means without assumption, there is no learning happening. So every research is built upon assumptions. More stronger and more number of assumptions will lead to better research findings. So assumptions are very very important for the development of new concepts and theories in the society. So what is the definition of assumptions? Assumptions according to Polit and Hungler is defined as it's a basic principle that is accepted as being true based on logic or reason without proof or verification. In simple sentence if we say assumptions are the belief which are not tested or proved there is no proof or evidence okay so assumptions is a realistic expectation which is something that we believe to be true but not tested in the research so you believe that it is true but you are not testing it through the research we call it as assumption for example here i have given those who lean out of moving train runs the risk of getting hurt which is a common belief of course it is true also but it is not tested so leaning from the moving train will get uh, the person will get hurt okay it is an example of an assumption simple assumption in our day-to-day -day life so what is the importance of assumption in research so why we need assumptions in research because before writing hypothesis we need to write what is our assumptions so that we can write the hypothesis why it is needed it gives ideas to discover new things so assumptions helps you to develop your ideas and to develop your concepts. So it gives start to the research and provides solid base. It gives the research a start as well as a solid base for the complete research. It enhances researchers knowledge. So by thinking about the research and developing assumptions, the researchers knowledge increases. It also developed to um, it also helps to develop research problem statement as well as hypothesis and as we said before it helps in developing new theories and concepts so what is the importance of perception it gives an idea to discover new things it helps in starting and it provides a solid base for the research it increases the researchers knowledge and it helps to develop theories concepts as well as it helps the researcher in developing his research problem statement and hypothesis. So what are the types of assumption? There are different types of assumption. We can call it as implicit and explicit assumption, warranted, unwarranted assumption, universal and theoretical assumptions. So we will discuss in pairs so it will be easy to understand. So there are three set of us types types of assumptions that is implicit explicit warranted unwarranted universal and theoretical so what is implicit and explicit assumptions we will discuss one by one implicit assumptions these assumptions are not expressed and may go undetected so there are a lot of belief which you have in your mind but you never express it outside we this is called implicit assumptions for example uh, the teacher in teacher student relationship you may have lot of uh, assumptions regarding one teacher the way she behave or the way she talk in the classroom you may think that there are, there are lot of beliefs about a teacher but it may not be true you did not test it and you did not open it up to the teacher we call it as implicit assumptions what is explicit assumptions these assumptions in which the intention is fully revealed or expressed without vagueness so here the expressions or the assumptions are fully expressed the, they are revealing the assumptions to the other people so for example uh, in a nursing uh, when a nursing student is put on, on, under a senior staff so what it means um, the nursing students are having less experience and the experienced staff is having more knowledge and experience so she can train the nursing students yes so that is the explicit assumption so it is clearly visible that um, the under developing 
students have been put under the mentorship of the experienced staff okay so this is an assumption and it is an explicit assumption everybody is clearly aware of it okay so the next set of type is warranted and unwarranted assumption so what is warranted assumption there are some assumptions which you take it for granted and you believe it to be true with any proof or conclusive evidence so there will be evidence and proof and you believe it as truth and you take it for granted okay so for example here i have mentioned regular prayers bring success because they boost morale so regular prayers always bring success because they are boosting morale in the human being so it is a conclusive evidence that and it is believed to be true uh, by so many people so we call it as a warranted assumption what is unwarranted assumption an unwarranted assumption is unreasonable something you'll take it for granted without any good reason there are a lot of uh, students attitude problem happens because of this unwarranted you assume that something you take it for granted and you believe that it is true without any good reason we call it as unwarranted assumptions there won't be any supporting evidence for unwarranted assumptions so warranted assumptions there will be supportive or conclusive evidences whereas unwarranted assumption there is no conclusive or um, a supporting evidence to confirm that it is true okay for example almighty god exists everywhere in this universe this is an unwarranted assumptions by the universal um truth which so many people believe it but we don't have any evidence to show almighty god exists everywhere in this universe so this is an example to explain unwarranted assumption so the next pair of type i mean the next set of types of assumption is universal and theoretical assumptions so universal assumption is some truth which are accepted by the large part of the society or majority of the population or we can say even most of the people living in the universe there they believe some truth yes these beliefs are accepted by the most of most of the people so investigations of these assumptions are not always possible so universal assumptions it is very difficult to investigate so when you select a research problem statement it is better to avoid all these universal assumptions okay the beliefs that are accepted by the large part of the population or we can say large part of the universe we call it as a universal assumption the best example is existence of god who created this universe so existence of god and god created the universe this is irrespective of the religion it is accepted by every people yes so this is an universal assumptions but if we plan to test this one it is going to be very very difficult or we will never get a result so universal assumptions cannot be tested what is theoretical assumptions assumptions taken from some theoretical model which is applied in research study is called theoretical assumption there are a lot of theories existing in our um studies um, the best example is darwin's evolution theory we all believe in evolution theory because the darwin has created a theory yes so he said from here to here the human being human sorry evaluated and we accept it because it is explained through a theoretical way so same like this every department or discipline will have lot of theories in their studies the best example is that we have nursing theories like nightingale theories peplos theory the nightingale theory explains about the environment uh the relationship of environment with the disease condition so we accept these theories and we can apply it in our research study peplos theory talks about the communication interpersonal communication and relationship in the among the nursing and the uh, patient so these kind of things can be tested because and we can apply it in our research study also these are our theoretical assumptions so we have seen the three sets of assumptions types one is implicit and explicit warranted unwarranted universal and theoretical assumptions so here i have written how we can apply assumptions in our research project 
so i have written a statement and i have written some assumptions related to the statement so when you write in your research project you have to write assumption at this way okay the problem statement is effectiveness of plan teaching on the knowledge of staff nurses working in psychiatric unit regarding physical restraints for psychiatric patient so here the researcher wants to know the knowledge of staff nurses working in psychiatric psychiatric unit regarding physical restraints so why what is the researcher's assumption is every nursing student is taught about physical restraint during basic nursing training program so this is the researcher's assumption that every nurse student nurse has been taught regarding the physical restraint awareness of alternative use of physical restraint is inadequate so the nursing staff is not aware of alternative use of physical restraints physical restraint is not the only treatment for behavioral emergency there are other therapies or measurements we can take other than physical restraint untrained nurses are responsible for injuries so if you are not training or if the knowledge is not uh, adequate what happens the patients will get injured because of the physical restraint so this is the assumption made by the researcher on the above research problem statement so like this when you are when you are writing assumption you have to write according to your problem statement what is your assumption so this is a very frequently asked university questions what is the difference between hypothesis and assumptions because they both go in a similar track but there are differences so what is hypothesis it's a prediction um, by the researcher yes it's a tentative prediction whereas assumptions are basic principle accepted as true the hypothesis is prediction between two or three variables whereas assumptions it gives an idea about the variable it is never gives a relationship between two variables whereas it gives an idea about the variable whereas hypothesis you have to uh, relate to or uh, the variables which are participated in the research hypothesis are statistically tested whereas assumptions are not statistically tested it suggests an answer to the research question hypothesis always gives an answer to the research question whereas assumptions does not include any answer for the research question hypothesis mostly used in experimental research whereas assumptions are used in experiment not used in experimental research that is non experimental researches it is used so this is the difference between assumption and hypothesis so we have clearly understood regarding the assumption definition purpose of assumption types of assumption and with an example and what is the difference between assumption and hypothesis thank you see you again with another video